Hello friends, under this video tutorial, we are going to start, real-time one-to-one -one chat application, by using Ratchet WebSocket library, with PHP and MySQL database. There are lots of viewer has requested us to start this tutorial series, so here we have start this tutorial series, and under this part, we will make one new private chat page for one-to-one -one chat. And under that page, first we will load register user data. So this is first step. So once all register user data has been loaded in private chat page, then after, we can proceed for one to one chat message using Ratchet WebSocket library. Before starting this topic, if you have not seen our previous tutorial on this topics, this because, we will use same code which we have built, group chat application using Ratchet WebSocket library, so please view our previous tutorial on this topic, we have put complete playlist of this tutorial under this video description. Now let's start discussing this topic, so here we can see new chat message table, with table column like, chat message id, to user id, from user id, chat message, timestamp and status, so under this table, we will store private chat message data. Next, we have go to text editor, and this is our working directory, and under this we have already download and install Ratchet WebSocket library, first we have open chatroom.php file. And under this, we want to link for go to private chat page. So here we have write anchor tag, with ref is equal to private chat.php file, and under anchor text, we have write private chat, so when we have click on this link, page will redirect to private chat.php file. Now we have open private chat.php file, and under this file, we have already included bootstrap library link, font awesome library link. Parsley JavaScript library link and jQuery library link. First under this page, we have write session start function. This function will start session variable on this page. Below this, we have write if statement. And under condition, we have write not operator with is set function. And under this, we have write dollar session user data variable. So this condition will check. If this variable value is not set that means user is not login into system, and try to access this page. Then it will execute if block of code, and under this block, we have write header function, and under this function, we have location set to index.php, so it will redirect to index page. Next, we want to use method of chat user class and chat room class file for database operation, so first for chat user class, here we have write require statement, with database folder name slash chat user dot php file name. And same way for chat rooms dot php class, here we have write require statement, with database folder name slash chat rooms dot php class. After this, here we want to display login user profile image, with user name, profile link, and logout button links, so for here, we have write dollar login user id variable with blank value. Below this, we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar session user data variable, as dollar key variable with dollar value variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar login user id variable is equal to dollar value id variable. So here we have store user id data under this dollar login user id variable. First we want to display login user profile image. So here we have write image tag with source is equal to php echo statement with dollar value profile. So this code will display login user profile image.
Below this image, we want to display login username. So here we have write PHP echo statement with dollar value name variable. So it will display login username. Next we want to button for go to profile page. So here we have write anchor tag with ref is equal to profile.php file name and in anchor text we have write edit. So by click on this link login user can go to their profile page. Now below this we want to display register user data. So here we have write dollar user object variable is equal to new chat user class. So here we have create object to chat user class. Below this, we have write dollar user object with set user ID method. And under this, we have write dollar login user ID variable. So it will set login user ID variable value. After this, here we have write dollar user data variable is equal to dollar user object with get user all data with status count method. This method will return register user data with number of unread messages. First, we have open chat user dot php file and under this file, we have make get user all data with status count method. Under this method, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select user ID, user name, user profile, user login status column. Then after for unread messages, here we have write select count all from chat message table, where to user ID is equal to double colon user ID, and from user ID is equal to chat user table dot user ID and status is equal to no as count status from chat user table. So this query will return register user data with unread message number. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar this with connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable so it will make query for execution. Next. We want to bind value. So here we have write dollar statement variable with bind param method with two argument. In first argument, we have write double colon user ID. And in second argument, we have write dollar this user ID variable. Now we want to execute above query. So here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. After query execution, we want to get query execution data. So here we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. And under this method, we have write PHP class with fetch a soak method. So this method will return query execution result in array format. Lastly, under this function, we have write return statement with dollar data variable. It will return register user data, which is output of this function. Now under private chat.php file, we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar user data variable as dollar key variable with dollar user variable. So by using this loop, it will fetch register user data. Under this loop, first we have write dollar icon variable is equal to italic tag with class is equal to font awesome circle class and bootstrap text danger class so it will make red color circle icon below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar user with user login status variable value is equal to login if this variable value is login then it will execute if block of code under this block, we have write dollar icon variable is equal to italic tag with class is equal to font awesome circle class and bootstrap text success class. So not it will make circle icon with green color.
Here we do not want to display login user data under this register user list. So here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar user with user ID variable value is not equal to dollar login user ID variable value. This condition will true if login user ID is not match with dollar user ID variable value. Under this loop, we have again write if statement and under condition, we have write dollar user count status variable value is greater than zero. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have write dollar total unread message variable is equal to span tag with bootstrap badge class and between this tag we have write dollar user count status variable value so it will display number of unread message notification in later part we will display unread message notification in real time using websocket Now for print user data, here we have write echo statement, and in HTML code, we have write anchor tag, with class is equal to bootstrap list group item, list group item action, and select user class, here we will user this select user class later, in upcoming part. After this, here we have write data user ID attribute, and under value, we have write dollar user with user ID variable value. For display user profile image, here we have write image tag with source is equal to dollar user with user profile variable so it will display user profile image after this we have create one span tag with class is equal to margin left one and between this tag we have create one straw in tag And between this tag, we have again create one span tag, with id equal to, list user name with dynamic value of dollar user, with user id variable, it will create unique name for all user. After this, between this tag, we have write dollar user with user name variable, so it will display user name. After this, here we have again create one more span tag, with id is equal to, user id with dynamic value of dollar user, with user id variable, this span tag we will use for display unread message notification using jQuery. And for display number of unread message notification, here we have write dollar total unread message variable, so it will display unread message notification when page has been load. Lastly, we want to display online and offline icon. So here we have create one span tag with id equal to user status with dynamic value of user id variable. Here this span tag id we will use for display user online offline status in real time using WebSocket.
and for display user online offline status, here we have write dollar icon variable, so it will display user status, so here our code is ready for load register user data, in private chat area, now we have check output in browser. So first we have go to command prompt, and here we run php command, with bin folder name slash server dot php, so it will start ratchet websocket server. Now here, we have enter our chat application URL, and here on web page, we can see login page has been load. So here we have enter login details like, email address details and password details. After this, we have click on login button, after click on login button here we can see page has been redirect to, chatroom.php page. On this page all user can chat with each other. But we want to chat one to one user. So here we can see private chat button. So we have click on this button. And after this it redirect us to private chat.php. And here, we want to change dollar user data variable, with dollar user variable, because in for each loop, we have used dollar user variable as reference variable. So here, we have refresh page, and now page proper load, so here, on this page, at left side, we can see login user profile image, user name, edit profile link button, and below this, we can see register user list. So from this list, login user will chat with any particular user, by simply click on that user, and that user all chat history will load with submit chat form, this all things we will learn, in upcoming part. Thank you for watching this video, we will be meet in next part of this real time one to one, chat application using ratchet php websocket library with mysql database.